Welcome to this tutorial by Zerotech and a methodology to combine multiple DVDs onto one DVD. Many DVD oriented camcorders use the miniature DVD minus R disc, which will not fit in a Mac DVD drive. So the idea here is to combine a couple of these DVDs into one standard DVD size so that we can use iMovie to do a YouTube video or what have you. Um, the methodology to combine that is use uh, Nero. This is Nero version 7, Recode version 2. Uh, Nero now has version 11, but the principles are the same. And uh, so what you see here should apply to any later version of Nero. We need to use Nero Recode. There's a couple ways to do that. We could back up and copy multiple DVD videos to one, or go to Favorites and select Nero Recode. So we start off with um, compiling a DVD. I'm going to select that and what we need to do here is to import the first DVD I already have loaded in, in the drive. So we need to click Import Titles. And it goes to the DVD uh, drive. We select Title 1 and use pushing the control button I can select Title 2 because I want both of them uh, to be uh, recorded. I click Add Title and we're done with for this disk um, and compiling so we'll click Next and Normally this is set up for the drive, but we don't want to go back to the drive. So what we want to do is make a disk image. So I'm going to select Hard Disk Folder. I'm going to Browse. I'm going to put this on a network drive. A temp folder. Now I already have images of these two disks on here, but uh, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it DVD1. Hit enter, click OK. And now you'll notice the path is uh, temp DVD1 and it's going to put it in the video TS uh, folder. So we click the burn button. Notice there is no writing speed since we're going directly to hard drive. So I'm going to click uh, burn and it's going to start copying what's on the DVD onto the hard drive. While it's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video because it's going to take about five minutes. Okay, we have completed compiling. I don't want to save a log file. And I'll just click Next. Since we don't want to burn the project again, I'm going to click Exit. And I'm going to put the second disk in. So I'm going to pause the video while I'm doing that. And of course, we'll get the auto start. Uh, asking me to play this. I'm going to cancel that. And we're going to repeat the procedure for this video. So I'm going to use uh, Nero Recode. Compile DVD. Import titles. And I have uh, two titles on this disk. I'll 
select them both. If there was more than two, it would be able to scroll down. Okay, so now I want to click uh, Add Titles. Close this. And see the more information. I'll click Next. Now we don't want to record this in DVD 1 because we'll just overwrite what's there. So we'll click Browse. And under Temp, I'll make a new folder and call it DVD 2. Click OK. Sure enough, it's DVD 2. And so I will now once again, select Burn. And it's going through the same procedure and process. And this is another five minute or so. I don't recall the capacity of these DVD minus R, the miniature ones. They're probably two gigs at most. Um, maybe less, maybe one gig. So I'm going to pause the video until it gets near the end. Okay, we're just about done here. And compiling that is complete. I don't want to save a log file. So click Next. And I'm going to exit. Now I'm going to eject the other disk and then put a blank a standard size disk into the writer. Okay, I inserted the disk. And we'll probably get a pop-up window here. And I'm just going to cancel this. Now we can use the copy multiple DVDs onto one. Now we need to import titles once again. And this time I'm going to select my network drive that I have it stored on or wherever you have it stored. Go to the temp folder. Go to DVD1. Click that. Click the control button or the shift button to select both titles. I'll click add. I notice it's been added, so now I want to add, before closing this window, DVD 2. There's Title 1, Title 2. I'll click Add. Now it's analyzing to see if it needs to compress because I have it set for a target of 4.7 gigabytes, which is the standard size of a 5-inch uh, disk. So I'll go ahead and pause while that's working. There should be no compression since uh, all these two disks should fit just fine. Okay, the analyzing is just about done. And I'll close this. And as you can see, the video quality is set for 100% on each. Since the actual size of the data is uh, almost 2 gigs. So we'll click Next. Now is when we actually want to write to the burner. I never 
use a maximum setting. In fact, I use like 4x times. And the reason for this is so this DVD plays uh, on standard standalone players. I have found that if you have it set for faster speeds that some players have difficulties actually play back uh, DVD minus R. Not typically computers, but standalone players. I don't need to use advanced analysis uh, since there's no compression. But I will use high quality mode, which takes a little longer to record. And I'm going to click the burn button. Um, this is the temp directory that I'd used previously. Let me change the temp directory back to temp and I don't want to destroy my image on the disk. So I'll click uh, burn again. Now it's basically compiling the four titles, preparing to burn one disk. It does not start right at yet. So it's in the encoding process. So I'll pause the video. Okay, we're just about done encoding, as you can see up here. Once the encoding uh, is complete, now we're in the burning process. This icon is now um, showing that it's burning and indeed the DVD writer is uh, spinning. And the status uh, information, of course, is, is provided. So I will pause the video. We're approaching the end of the disk here. We're at 98%. Now it's writing a lead out, as it calls. And now that this is ejected, and we're done. I'm not going to save the log file. Now, if I was to put this disk into the computer or a standalone player, there would be no menu. It would just start playing the uh, various chapters. And that's how you do it. Uh, hope this was helpful and uh, continue to watch our channel for updated videos that we plan to do in the future. Thank you for watching.